in Flutter, animations like this are quite easy to implement. Let me guide you through the process. Look at this. Right now, we just have three simple arrows. Let's back to the code. I already have a wizard called Shimmer Arrow. Inside it, we have those three arrows lined up in a column. Now, let's make it shine. We'll wrap our column with a shader mark. For the dazzling effect, we'll use a linear gradient. It will start nearly a transparent white, move to solid white, then fade back to nearly transparent. Then on create shader, pass the bound. To see the magic, set the begin alignment to top center and end alignment to bottom center. Voila, this is what we wanted. Perfecto. To add animation, we'll utilize the transform property. First, create a class called slide gradient transform that extend gradient transform. Next, create the missing override. Return a matrix transform values with x, y, z all set to zero. Once you integrate this into the transform, you won't notice any changes initially. However, if you go back and modify the y value in matrix, you'll see the magic happen. The final step involves animating the value. Head back to Shimmer Arrow Wizard and add single ticker provider state mixing to it. Next, declare a lead variable called animation controller in initial state method. Initiate animation controller using unbound construct. We need repeated the animation and set the minimum value to minus 0.5 and maximum to 1.5. The duration is one second. Next, wrap that shader mask with an animated builder and set its animation property to animation controller. If you encounter an error, don't frag. Either ignore it or register, and it should disappear. Introduce a person constructor to pass the animation value. Then replace the hard coded value with percent. Voila, the arrows now animate from top to bottom. To reverse the direction, making it from bottom to top, simply add a negative sign. Perfect. It's time for performance optimization. We don't need to rebuild the arrows with every changes in animation value. By placing them outside our builder, we can ensure they aren't rebuilt each time the animation value changes. This is just a snippet of the entire animation. If you are interested in learning how to create this full animation in Flutter, please check out the description for the link. Thank you and goodbye for now.